Some experts believe the market for natural personal care products could grow to more than $5 billion in the next three years. Companies like Bosha are on the cutting edge of this trend. And joining me now is the company's general manager, Karen Conrad. For example, their Japanese skincare line wasn't selling well in the United States until Karen renamed and rebranded it. And now it's being distributed in big chain stores like Bath and Body Works and Nordstrom. Thanks for coming to Making It. We appreciate you being here. Oh, thank you so much, Lynette. First of all, let's, let's talk about this branding. What does that mean exactly, a brand? You know, a brand is something that really speaks to the customer. It's going to represent what the company wants the customer to know about them. So if that is, you are the best at preservative-free, if you are the best at gentle, if you have the most technology, you need to speak that to your brand. So the customer out there looking for the most natural products knows that this is the brand they need to go to. Um, it's a trust. So the idea is to make your brand so knowledgeable mm -hmm. to the customer that she'll always look to your brand as number one. What messages are the most important for consumers when they're looking to buy health and beauty products? I found that for 20 years of being a makeup artist and working directly with consumers, the number one thing that they wish to see in a brand is they want it to speak to them. They want to know the story behind the brand and how it's going to directly help them with their skin issues. Um, in this world today, you have so many different kinds of brands, and it's very confusing for the consumer. If mm -hmm. she can really associate with a brand and its features, its benefits, what it'll do for them, uh, they feel very secure with that brand. They want to go back and they want to tell others. Right. I mean, especially when you walk into any um, health and beauty product store, there's so many things on the shelves. You don't even know where to begin, really. It can be... Absolutely. It can be overwhelming. Right. So uh, the, the idea is to find yourself as an entrepreneur, that is, um, creating a nicheness to your brand, mm -hmm. specializing in certain types of ingredients or, or looking to a certain kind of consumer and speaking directly to that consumer, solving her problems and getting very passionate about how wonderful your product is. Are there any other things that a manufacturer should do before marketing to the public? Definitely they need to research and determine who their customer is and where they shop. Why do they shop? What kind of products are missing in the market for that customer? And if they can really speak directly to the customer uh, that they're going to solve those problems with, they have got a winner. In our show today, we've looked at the ethnic markets. How are those having an impact on your industry? It's so wonderful to see that there are so many entrepreneurs in so many different kinds of cultures and groups, and they're starting from scratch. You know, mm -hmm. they've got ideas, and they know that they're not finding products for themselves and in their communities, so they're, they're being very innovative. They're being very passionate about creating products on their own. And I think that the rest of the beauty industry has woken up to that and seen that they are missing the mark on you know bringing out new products for different ethnicities right. and um, I think it's created a whole evolution in the beauty industry. We all want the same thing but we're not all the same. Exactly, <laughs> right. exactly and it's nice to know that um, you can find products in many different you know venues whether right. you're going to a high-end department store, you're looking online, you're on the television that you can find something perfect for you and if they make it for your kind of skin or from your kind of lifestyle, that's even better. Now sometimes you can have the right product but the wrong packaging and that really makes a big difference. It does. If, if your product does not speak to the customer that you're targeting, you know, you have a problem, you're going to miss that customer. So if you are talking about young customers, they definitely are influenced by excitement and celebrity and what their friends are using. So your product should speak to that. If your consumer is much more sophisticated, you really need to have your packaging very alluring and very calming to that customer. So definitely pay attention to what your customer um, would be looking for in packaging and how let's it speaks to Let's talk about them. that. Before we run out of time, sure. let's talk about Bosha. Yes. The Bosha line means botanical science using advanced technologies. Everything is preservative free. It's very healthy. It's very gentle, very calming and soothing. But it, on the scientific end, there's advanced technology in, in doing a preservative free process, not adding any of those harsh chemicals and yet having you know, active anti-aging amino acids. 
So to have a blend, we decided to, to cover the whole packaging with the botanical leaves and give you that understanding of calming and serene botanicals. You changed the name, you changed the packaging, everything. Yes, and consumers were really looking for a product that was beauty without compromise, something that was going to affect and you know rid them of some of their issues on their skin. If a woman is pregnant, she's very aware of what's mm -hmm. in her products, and she's looking for something that is very clean and gentle. Fantastic. Plus, it smells good. Yeah, it's naturally <laughs> smelling good. Thank you so much.